Okay, we're here with the Realistic MG1 synthesizer. And what we have now is a uh, one key is giving us a problem. So next thing we're going to do is figure out where this key goes. Okay, so basically what we're doing now is getting our multi-tester and uh, looking at voltages, just real basic stuff. If you... Uh, if you get to one note down there, one, one of the leads, you're going to see that it reads approximately 6 volts. Yeah, it's okay, you know. We know that's okay. And when you press that, when you press a button, let's uh, see if we can get this in the camera there as best as we can. Uh, well, you know, you've got the 6 volts, you hit a note, you get a drop in voltage. You know, no big deal. You know something's going on there. So, you go to the next one, you still got 6 volts. You press that top C, yeah, voltage is going to change not too much, but it's going to see it in the next one. So you know that that as you go down, you're going to you're going to see a drop in voltage for that particular note. And for the G that's giving us a problem, it comes back to this red wire right here. Immediately we can see that it's only at 3.4 volts. So we need to trace back where this um, you know winds up, and from there we'll take a look and see. Hey, maybe it's a uh, Maybe a resistor got smashed in there or something, and, and it's just dropping things down, or maybe it's something else. But it's only affecting that one note. It should be very easy to figure out. But here's what this is what happens when you play this note on that. So it drops down. We know it's that note. So wherever this note. And then, of course, this note down here, we're going to take a look. Whatever's, whatever bus is feeding the G, we're going, to, we're going to take a look and see where that all winds up. It's just that one particular note that's giving us the problem, and that should be very easy to figure out.